the president of the Organization for Technology Advancement of Coal Chain in West Africa, or TAKWA, has called on partnership between financial institutions and stakeholders so as to bolster the growth of the coal chain industry in Nigeria. Speaking at a breakfast meeting at Ikeja, the president of Otakwa, Dr. Augustine Okorua, made this appeal during his welcome address, stressing the need for financing whole coal chain infrastructure in Nigeria. The infrastructure that we need for the coal chain development requires financing. We need a coal room to be built. We need a warehouse to be, to be built. You need a refrigerator truck. You need the energy supply system. You will also need the social infrastructure. We also need the social infrastructure for coaching development. So the social infrastructure is where the government is supposed to support the system. Also present at the meeting was the Vice President Otakwa, Mr. Tunde Okoya, who expressed the need to harness renewable energy in the quest to develop the coal chain industry in Nigeria. Recently, what we've been doing at Otakwa is trying to look at other practical steps and solutions that perhaps could be a more sort of like a low hanging fruit that's perhaps affordable. And we've looked at various, we looked at biomass, we looked at solar, we even looked at LPG. So I'm just going to talk on very briefly and very quickly on some of those other systems. A very interesting system I'm going to talk about here is something that they do a lot in India. A company called Green Chill has been installing refrigeration equipment at farm gates using biomass. And basically what this means is they power the compressor, the cooling, using the waste from the farm. From research, it has also been established that 90% of the food produced in Nigeria are rain-fed. This is where the greenhouse farming and solar-powered system come in. From the farm gates where the products are sold, the cold value chain will not be lost. Hence, the cold chain is a valid addition to the agricultural sector. Toby Oguntuga, reporting for Hagro Nigeria.